Hello and welcome everybody, this is in Blender, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make any for under 5 minutes in Hubert Tile, let's go. I'm going to go here, right click, general, don't save because I know how to do it and you will too in just 5 minutes, so I don't know why the screencast is not working. Perfect, so now I'm going to hit new and add image reference which is going to be adding the, you know, the reference image that I have provided in the description so alt r alt g to see what we got here so I'm gonna move this right over here to this model of this so you see what that we got this I'm gonna add a plane which is going to be roughly the side of the formula clip for us so I'm gonna hit this like this I'm gonna move it scale x just about the forward you don't have to be precise about this like this and bam now we have this so if you want to be more precise about this you can do it but i don't want to be more precise about this because this is mostly for background object model so i'll just hit top view control shift b and be able it like this and give it somewhere about this much age for this so i'm gonna move this down a little bit i'm gonna even hide it i don't want it anymore so I'm going to click this and put it in the z-axis to give the form some thickness. So usually you don't have to do more than this but I'm going to add some little details because, I, because that was my form that I took a picture from so I'll just do it. So I'll just enable auto smooth to get something like this and get this. So I'm going to add one edge loop in the center, control B to be able to like this. I'm going to put it in two. So I'm going to go like this. Extrude Alt S to give it some thickness scale in the axis. You know, to make the form more fancier. So I'm going to go there and add a bevel modifier. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. So I'm going to change this to angle. And title this down. Alt C to see what is going on. And give it to edge loops like this. So now we got this, so we we are done with the modeling, so we'll go, just go to the shading mode like this and add a new one, Control T to get this, if you have enabled the node wrangler right on, so I'm going to get this, I'm going to hit this. Now you see the form doesn't look even close to the form, which everything is first because of the UV, so I'm going to go to the UV editor and start fixing the UV, so this part is a little bit tedious, but it's easy. So I'm going to go, I'm going to hit the top part like that, Control plus. Go to the top view, view, UV project from view, like this. Select this, go to the corresponding, you know, UV tile that we made in Photoshop. So I'm gonna do this like this. Bam. So, something like that. So I'll just go to the look development mode. So I'm gonna go right here. Bam. Go to this mode see the bottom part so I'm hit this control plus to get those edges right there which are going to be perfect so I'll hit this U project from B like this go to the corresponding you know where UV tile whatever that is UV island thing so go right here and fix it so something yet yeah, that you should note right here is you know, ignore the edges because those parts are going to be pain in the ass when you have to see this close up, kind of close up. So just go, you know, go right there, ignore this part, like this, go right somewhere about there. So now we start getting the phone, so I'm gonna go right here in the, go three, click this part, like this, select this. Go right here and control select this, control plus to get this part like that selected and go to the preview project from view. Now I'm gonna hit this, bam. So I think this part is this one, but I think it's flipped. And I'm gonna scale it like this in the x axis and negative one to flip it perfectly. So I'll scale it roughly about there. Something like this, scale it in the z-axis, in the y-axis, sorry. And boom, you see, now we get the point, I'm gonna skip over the other parts. So 
So we back. So if you do it, this have decent, you get have you know decent results because this is gonna be a background result. So you don't even have to be so precise about this. So you just gotta make it somewhat closer like that to get it, you know mm, halfway decent like this. So after this, you can you know add some more pens and stuff like you know some making some parts metallic like this. Age art disc or code plus. So to do that, you have to add a new one like this. New, um, we can just use that one and assign it like this. So if I go to out of the edit mode, object mode, and click the number two to make this a single user. So I'm gonna go right here, select this part, go right here, change this to metallic. It see some nice reflections, but it's not necessary. If I if you change some parts, you see that this is halfway decent. So if I go right here you know the best part about this is you can relight this scene so everything is you know how, how you want it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye don't forget to like subscribe and share if you want